Okay, so this this meeting is is called to order. Uh, we are meeting under the uh, we are meeting on online under the dispensation from the governor from the COVID era still in effect, and um, we have we will um, post the recording of this meeting and the minutes of the meeting online for people to see. <clears throat> Okay, um, I will start up screen sharing myself here at the moment. Okay, here's our agenda for today. Just to look at it quickly, we have two batches of minutes to approve. Since we had a little fumble last time getting getting the July minutes uh, up in front of everybody. I have a couple of short updates, several short updates. Uh, and then we'll turn to looking at that uh, guidelines document <clears throat> that, uh, <clears throat> that, that we worked on so much last time and have worked on since. So let me see about pulling up um I get confused between this facsimile screen and my real screen. <laughs> and I also got this bar in the way. Tom, are you looking are you looking at the agenda? I'm looking at the agenda and I I've got a little beach ball spinning when I'm trying to get back to my the other. So why doctor. don't you uh give me control? Yeah. And I will uh I've got the agenda up here. That's, that's helpful. Okay, um, it says host disabled screen sharing, so we might not be able to. Mm -hmm. Unless you can change that, I don't know. See if you can technology. try. See if you can do it now, uh, okay. Terry. Oh, here we are. Hold on one sec. That's weird. Why am I looking at your screen? <laughs> Hold on. That is the weirdest thing. I don't want your screen. I want my screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. All right. Okay, so there's agenda. We want what we want to do is get to the get to the minutes. You want the July or the August? Oh, whatever we can get to start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I've got um... A dog okay. over here who's going to start barking any minute. Sorry. And I've got this one, which is September agenda. Let's just do that one. Of this. Can you see this? I can see September 26, 2024 agenda. Oh, can I? <laughs> 
I don't think we need to see that. Yeah, I'm actually trying to get to the um, minutes, which I oh, thought yeah, I had I, open, which I'm not seeing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Comedy of errors here, guys. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Happens a lot. Don't worry about it. All right. So what you are seeing, it's hard for me to see what you're seeing. You're seeing one and two. So you're seeing two. Okay. So that's the wrong one. That's why. Okay. Hold on a second. I've got agenda here. Yeah. And I can pull up the minutes too in a minute. <laughs> I've got the public art document and guidelines. Uh, that's the that's the August, that's the bottom of the August minutes there. Yeah. Yeah. Because the August minutes is about 20 pages long. Yeah, right. So just let's see, you have no, one second, guys. There we go. All right. We want to look at September or August. Which one? Let's do August first. Okay. Okay. You all see that? Nope, because what is public art is on top of it. Oh, interesting. That is weird. Uh, can you just uh, move off the screen? What is public art? Yeah, I'll do my best. There it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. And maybe... We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right, August minutes. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Sorry, if you hear the, the, the howling, that would be my dog. <laughs> Stop. Okay, take the floor there, Tom. I'm gonna mute myself. Okay, could you, could you, um, could you go full screen on that or expand it? Sure. There you go. Okay, so, um, there, there are two um, or, or several summary areas here. So the, one is uh, the the report that Terry did on art on the arts night meeting, mm -hmm. and I've just given a very very cursory summary of it um, because the 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 document from which Terry was speaking, I've attached at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I was feeling a little bit leery about trying to summarize in our minutes the, the uh, contents of somebody else's meeting. So I just tried to keep it keep it real short mm -hmm. and include that that uh, that <clears throat> link there <clears throat> or that uh, copy at the bottom so that's that's what i've done here in this uh paragraph after arts night there in the middle of the page um on electrify amherst <clears throat> what i re what i knew last time was that i was waiting <clears throat> for um <clears throat> guidelines from public works about you know, preparation of the boxes or anything. And by the way, since then, the answer came back that no, nothing to do. You just go ahead and paint the, on them. And, you know, just use your regular surface prep as you would. And then the, but the other matter is still dragging. And I've been um, chasing after, after it with Angela um, every couple of days. And that is that Paul wanted to do a review of the artist contract so he sent it out to the college attorney and then went on on vacation he's been back a week and we still don't have that concluded so i've i've communicated everything else to the artist 
but said we can't get started until we get those contracts. So I'm really getting a little nervous about timing there. <clears throat> okay, on the, the public art guidelines <clears throat> document there, <clears throat> I, again, I decided to punt rather than, than um, try to recount our whole discussion since we have, again, I've copied it down below and that includes notes that were that we uh, uh, that that come from our come from our discussion. So that's what I have for minutes from the August meeting. So when you go down the pages, as Terry's scrolling here, the first one is the uh, is my cut and paste of the three page document that she showed us during the last meeting. And then at the end of that, uh, after that very helpful horizontal line that uh, Google Docs like lets you draw, you know, we're done with that. I go on into the um, uh, into a copy of the of the guidelines draft that we were working on. So, just a question. I have is who are the public entities behind creating the Arts Night and supporting it now? Uh, it's the uh, downtown Amherst historical, oh, I lost the words. Cultural Council. Thank Council, you. Cultural District, sorry. The Cultural District, yeah. Yeah. Which hasn't met in a long time. Right. And the Downtown Improvement Board. Yeah. And yeah, who the, is the Downtown Improvement Board? The well, bid. Called, the bid. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. That's a business <laughs> business something improvement district. district. Business improvement yeah. district. Yeah, sorry. It's yeah. the bid. Wasn't yeah. Emerald College part of it too, of that meeting? Yeah, uh, yeah, they were part of the meeting. Yeah. The a problem the problem here. Um, and this was a, you know, this was on my mind as I was looking at this today, is that that meeting, you know, who they are, what authority they're acting on, um, and es essentially who the participants are, it would have been nice if they had included that, you know, the way minutes include membership. Yeah. Yeah. So it, there is kind of a, there is kind of a question. You're you're right, Dara. There is a question hanging over this as to well, you know, who is it? Now Terry knows the people who were in the room that that day, and so this is, um, you know, that's one expression of who this this group is. Uh -huh. But you know, um, let's just say that for the future, my hope would be that they would step forward a little bit more about um, that identification before things get, you know, complicated. Right. Well, I know I, you were saying. I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I actually ran into somebody at the A Square Gallery. And they, yeah, they were present. They were present too. Mm -hmm. And they, um, I, and it's interesting that they didn't ask anybody from the Emily Dickinson Museum or from the Amherst Historical Society, because in the past, both those institutions were always present in uh, putting up one of the artists' um, uh, yeah. stuff for the Arts Night and for mm -hmm. the whole month. And so um, there are more institutions that are involved than I think were there at that meeting. Was anybody yeah. there from the... Historical Society? Uh, yeah, Gigi was there. Oh, Gigi. Oh, good. Okay. How about from the Emily Dickinson? Uh, I think there was somebody. I just, okay. I don't remember everybody. I do know that Amherst Cinema had a representative there as well. Good, good. A1 Gallery had like two people there and um, um, Amherst uh, Commission, the, um, I can't think of words today, I swear to God. Uh, the Grants Commission was also there. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, we should have a list of everybody that was there. And um, right. Okay. But who, how was it decided who was invited? 
I think that there was a survey that went out to a lot of people and I, I don't oh, have okay. a list obviously and whoever okay. responded to that was they were then Just on an email list and so they uh -huh. were emailed because they because they responded to the, to the survey mm -hmm. okay that's good I, um Dara I think um I I know I know that early in the summer um the the bid was working on this and had an intern assigned for it and they were hoping that it would go into effect on august 15th and then with the change in leadership at the bid i i have the suspicion that you know things dropped a little bit uh -huh. and that uh if if that intern was still on the case and trying to put this together you know, she she probably didn't have all the background about right. you know, the past. That she actually the, did this. She was the person who was who facilitated yeah. this meeting. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just I was just interested in in the way some of it was put because it says things like restaurants should provide special art night. Amherst College can provide. Yeah, you yeah. know, uh, live lit can do this, and it mm -hmm. it. I, it doesn't, it's not clear to me if those people even know that they could do this. This mm -hmm. is a round table discussion. It wasn't anything to make any decisions. It was just gathering uh, information. What might happen, like speculative. It's it's really, like I said, a round table discussion where everybody got to say a few things about what they wanted and what they uh -huh. saw for an arts night. And, and it was just gathering all that. And that's what that intern was doing. And then she just kind of gave it all back to us. So- yeah. Because part of my question when I was reading it, there's a lot of great stuff in it, and but was like, what does that have to do with the art commission? With us, like, what's the art commission's role in it specifically? Oh, uh, yeah, we would be a co-contributor to this occurring, you know. And I don't, we don't have money, so it wouldn't be funding. Yeah. <laughs> would so be our would gallery. Be essentially the, the participation of the of the town hall gallery. As well right. as it would be stops. yes, and it would be uh, also helping to um, find the people who would um, who would choose the art, because it wouldn't just be you know we would have to have a, a a group of people to actually jury what gets put up. Hmm. We we all decided that was that was probably a necessary component. Yeah, so it's I, not it's not like a fair. Where or a festival where people anybody can participate and anybody. I wish. No, I, I think it is actually like, I think we will use the storefronts, um, uh, the gallery, the town hall gallery, uh, Amherst uh, Cinema, all these places would host areas on their walls right. for, for art. I mean, Amherst Cinema had an awesome idea about projecting uh, like animation shorts and stuff on the side of the building because oh, they have wow. the equipment and that yeah. would just be an amazing addition because Amherst yeah. art shouldn't just be about paintings. It should be sculpture. It should be, you know, music. It well, should yeah. be everything. Yeah. It's long and in, in the past have been, as far as I know, I haven't been here long enough, but I think it was a lot of paintings in the past and such. Um, not as much opened up to all the other media that art, you know, is. So um, actually my art was in it. Um, I don't know how many years ago. I My paintings were at the bed. Yay! So I did it for a month. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so okay. I so but when it's there, the um, the classes from UMass in Amherst College bring their students to the yeah. different places, and um, you have to explain your artwork and how you make it and what you've you know the whole nine yards. Yeah, that's which cool. Is really good. So you get yeah. a lot of um, good artists and how they made their art and. At the historical society in the past, one of the things we did there was, like when we had we had felt stuff mm -hmm. from three three artists. We did on a Saturday. We had a felting class, so we um, had them come and they taught felting. That's so really it was cool. Really, it it was a learning experience, even though it was up for a Thursday, for the Thursday opening, and then we made it into an art event so what i think um dara had a really good question what does the art commission have to do with this and i think that we should be uh co 
well, at least contributors, you know, we should be helping make this happen and helping have some structure. That is our job is to actually lend some structure and some um, guidelines. So right. what do you think about that, Tom? Yeah, I, I think I think that is very much in line with, um, you know, with the guidelines we're working on because nobody nobody else has uh, really has very firm or, or you know, well, well-rounded ideas, you know, about, you know, what, what public art is, could be, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I think so. Now, there's a lot of uh, opportunity here for, um, for partnerships mm -hmm. and for uh, getting the downtown businesses involved and, um, you know, having, they could have the specials for the night, you know, the arts night specials. There's, it's a lot of great ideas here, and I think that if the DIB ah, BID has has the people power to actually make that happen, it could be. I don't want to use the word lucrative. I just want it to be successful. I just want it to happen, and I think everybody who sat around that table said the same thing. We just want this to happen. Mm -hmm. Coming back from COVID, so I was excited about that idea. Okay, all right. So, how are we feeling about the August minutes? Oh. Uh, do I make a motion? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to accept these minutes as are as they stand. I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Um, all in Aye. favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. All right. Okay. Thank oh, you. We have a helper. Hold on. Okay, we have so another participant. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Can you hear me? It's Lori. Hey Lori. Yes. How are you? Hey, Lori. I, I apologize that I'm late. I had a work thing, and so I'm calling you from a phone. Oh, <laughs> well, you're glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've been missing so many meetings. It's been very frustrating. So I'm uh, sorry to be late and mostly missing this one, too. But hello, everyone. Hello. hello. Here. Yep. That's great. OK, All right, let's let's take a look at the July minutes. OK. All right, here we are. You see, can you see them? Yeah. Am I here? Yeah. Are the, does anybody have any comments about them? Is Tom on? Um, yeah, I'm just there you are. around here. Yeah. Okay, um, so here there is uh, no news yet again on percent for art uh, with regard to the elementary school. Uh, just a reminder that I believe uh, construction bids are due this month or were due this month. So um, we should all watch to see if there's any news uh, on that front. Um, I thought one of the bids came in under budget. Oh, Ooh. there's some news. That would be that's, that's that would... what I heard as well. I, I okay. heard that it came in under budget. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. Which hopefully will leave, you know, give them encourage them to to approve the um half percent for art since yeah. it did come in under budget. That would yeah. be great. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, very good. Um, so Electrify Amherst was the was the second update there. Um, we had talked about uh, concern over potential copyright issues in some of the images there. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the conclusion we came to was that because the artist contract requires the artist to affirm having, um, you know, clear title to the art that that person is is presenting, creating, that that's the chance to catch uh, anything regarding copyright. That's going to come back in a minute. It's on our, in a way, on our, on our agenda for tonight. 
Um, so I then there was a promise from me to contact the artists, and I ha and I have done that. I have not not yet notified the people who did not um, were not chosen. I guess on principle, not doing that until we had the artist contracts concluded. But it's getting a little long now, so I think I might do that anyway. Okay. At this stage. We'll definitely keep their names and keep them in mind for the next time yes. we go through this. I will encourage them to apply again. Great. In future rounds, too. And then... Love, love to see that. Yeah. Then we did discuss having um, guests come to join us at meetings to talk about public art, people with uh, substantial experience in the field beyond what beyond what we have here. Um, and I'll have an update on on that too in a moment. So those were the that was the that was that was my set of minutes for July. I move okay. to accept the minutes. I second. Okay. Vote. Uh, all approve. All. All in favor. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. All right. Getting business done. Yeah. Okay. Um. So back to the agenda. Um. So I had updates. I have updates for you. Um. Okay. So as some of us were discussing before before the meeting actually started, we are we are down from seven members to five because uh, Robert elected not to take a new term on the commission. And, and Jim Barnhill just a couple of weeks ago uh, because of family health issues that he has to help attend to. So we're down to, I don't believe we've got um, uh, uh, applicants waiting. I'll check again with Angela, but she's been watching that. And yeah, I think uh, I they've all been put, taken by other committees. Yeah, I did put out a posting on the next door network trying to Rouse interest. It was interesting because I got a stat back on that saying that 524 people viewed the message within 24 hours, huh. but alas, no responses. Um, so uh, I'd like to get that get that um, moving. We uh, the commission's much better off if it has full membership. Let's just put it that way. Financial like update. Facebook. Yes, finally. Okay, as of September 10th, we have in the APAC account $3,684.28. That's And you'll have another 850 good... as soon as I deposit it. Oh, <laughs> I was about to ask yeah. you whether that included your APAC. Yeah, I have oh, the check, but I, I wanted to see what our balance was before so that there's a, you know what I mean? This like, is it. Because before it's like, oh, we don't yeah. know how much money we have. So I wanted to make sure we had a, budget, a balance. Yeah. So now I can put it in. What's the 850 for? Yeah, great. Uh, we got a grant from the town of Amherst, from the cultural committee. Based Very on, happy for that. Uh, I, I filled that out an application be... for a grant yeah. for Electrify Amherst. Oh, okay. Great. Mm -hmm. I made the mistake of putting it in my name. I did the uh -huh. first time doing a grant, my fault. Um, so it came to me. It's in my name. So <laughs> I'm just going to deposit it and write a check to the town of Amherst. So, so okay. good. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I learned. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten right. grants before, but they were for me, not Great for you. Great news here but, is that, yeah. that we're not going to have to go into our. Yeah. Yay. So we, we can afford to pay for the traffic boxes this time. Fantastic. Um, okay. have, have um, any of you guys, have who, you, any of you guys, I'm sorry, have you put in for your um, food at uh, the different openings? I did not because I just decided to make it a donation okay but in the future in the future yeah. if i spend any more money i will i just didn't know if we had any money 
Right. And I, so if, if we I, were, I treated it like a donation. So who would be paying for the utility boxes if the commission didn't? We would ask specifically for the amount that we need from the town of Amherst right from Paul. Well, maybe we should do that even if we have the money. We can, we can try. I mean, that is kind of the apparatus that Paul told me is in, in place for getting money. Well, it's, it seems and, like and, it'd be a good yeah, idea. Isn't there, and isn't there money that we should have gotten from the um, the public art, uh, I forget the, you know, making it public that, that was supposed to come to us and did uh, come that, to the town? That was turned down. Right. I know it was turned down, but they gave us money. Yep, they gave us did. half. Yep. Yeah, they gave that back. No, half of it was given back and half was supposed to be given to us. Oh. Yeah. And we never oh. saw that, right? Okay. That's because yeah. we can never get a straight answer about what our budget what I we asked had about that and balance. I'm still getting I'm I got no answer. I got just got that three thousand <laughs> dollar number yeah. back. Do you know where okay. the three thousand comes from? No, no idea. That's well it's that's sort of like a cash account. Um, okay. Okay. But it but is more money than the than... amount. But what? What? isn't that similar to the amount oh. that we started with? Isn't that similar to the amount that we've had? I'm not sure. I don't know. Lori, I don't think we have an answer I mean, because it's been so hard to get answers about what's in what's in the bank, you know, what yeah. we have. Well, I, I, I think it's it definitely time, does not include, mm -hmm. and it, it does not include the making of public money that was given and it should come to us. Thank right. You. So I think we should keep, keep on that. <laughs> right. Good idea. Okay, I will do that. So who do we go to at the town? Because there's, who's the accountant for the town? No. Um, I've forgotten her name, but um, I have too. Yeah, but she she's the one who at Angela's prompting gave me this number, and okay. so I I don't know where I have to go to find out. My my guess is it's just a guess, is okay. that the town felt it had the discretion, you know, when the for, with that money, to put it aside, put it somewhere and not necessarily put it in our account. Now, who who made that decision, if, if my hunch is correct? I, I don't know, but it could be that the finance people were not the ones who made the decision. So I have to try to find, I have to, I have to find the right people to talk to to see what, what that story is. Right. Okay. Maybe once uh, we have this, our whole thing uh, drawn out, we can uh about what public art is we can present it to the town and say hello yeah you know yeah. where is our money that we deserve that we were supposed to have yeah i think we have to justify why we need it i think we need to come up with some we have to come um, up with an alternative yeah an alternate project a project right how, how about the portals what's going on with that anything nothing is going on with the portals I think the, our, our, the artists problem. that we chose uh, uh, ran off <laughs> with the with the inserts that go into the the windows, and I gave them to her so that she could put her art in there because she had to install lights um, in in the windows. And so I gave her the wooden uh, wooden inserts that go in the windows. So uh -huh. I, I let her have those to put the to put her to install her art. And she took them with her, I guess, and where'd she go? Left. I think I tracked her down. I think she went to her parents on the on in Cape Cod. I think she was having um, money issues, possibly. But Do you, is there a way for an official commission person uh, entity yeah. to say you have to send these back? Yeah, let me let me uh, give it. You know, as as a new voice. Great. Let let me try that. Um, so I'll get in touch with with Terry about getting the contact information she had. Yep. I mean, are, are they valuable? Well, they're 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 custom made, custom made wooden boxes that fit those windows precisely. 
so we have a, it's like a blackout I, box so you can put the art in it you know uh-huh so yeah. we need them I back we do i think either we get them back and if we can't then i think we have to spend the money to have them remade because that is a public art piece that i feel we are responsible for and if we want more money or want to say that we are you know stewarding these the public art then yeah I think we have to be responsible to that public art installation, which right. was, you know, from yeah. the parking garage and went along with that installation, mm -hmm. you know, the parking garage and to have public art there. So I yeah. think we really have to steward that through. Right. So that's my that we I agree. I agree drop. with you. I agree with you on that. Yeah, Lori. I, I, I contacted good. her many times. Yeah. Um, no, and, and she I, never I, responded. I, I, I think one of the problems with that portal is that it's never been ever defined to like show people what could be done with it because trying to do little dioramas in it or putting up palms like they did before, it's nothing. It doesn't I work. Think, I think it needs flashy lights in the window. Exactly. Honestly. You're perfect. <laughs> something that's got some pizzazz. No, you're totally right. Like a, a pattern of lights that just mm -hmm. create an interesting pattern of real light all through mm -hmm. them. That would be so much better than all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So why don't we find a light I, artist <laughs> and yeah. show them yeah, the lights I mean, I, and I tell them the side? Why don't we make it? I think we should put this on the agenda for I the next. A, I think it's a good idea. I think we can change it. It doesn't have to stay what it was originally, but as long as we do something there, yeah, and and make something happen there, I think that's that's what we need to do. Yeah, well, I think Carrie's idea is great. Public art can't can't just disappear on our watch. I think I right. I know. Yeah. But this would actually be a big improvement. Oh yeah, yeah. So Tom, yeah. why don't we put that on the agenda for the next month, and we'll. I think that's a good idea for us to work on. Right. Yeah, I can. Because we need I, to get as I, much out there as possible. And I do some like other update item. Uh, I got in touch with uh, Professor uh, Lucia Monga at Amherst College. She um, she's an art uh, professor, specialist in public art. Uh, she was not able to make this meeting time, but it is willing to meet with us. So, um, you know, sort of what's what's your pleasure? We can either try to schedule a meeting just with her or we can try again to see whether she can make our whatever meeting time we settle on for next. Well, I'd be happy to do whatever works because I think it'd be really good for us to also make connections out yeah, there yes. with other people interested in public art. Very That's much correct. So. I and I, I, I spoke to uh, Alexandra Kennedy, who is the head of the Carl Museum for a long, long time. And she's willing to talk to us, too, sometime. Okay. And she's great. Good, good, That's good. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, so we'll we'll try to get both. both yeah. The, and if, um, if you want me to, I will ask Alex if she could possibly um, at one of our okay those are the... oops Tom I think you froze that one of our regular meetings yeah I think I okay yes yes please please do that uh, Dara if you would okay okay all yeah. right um clock is racing here and uh, Dara may yeah. have to go yeah um Let's take a quick look at the document that uh, Terry drafted. Oh, this is big. Let me get the smaller one. No, that's fine. This thing was huge. That's right. Okay. Brick for the opening part of the guidelines uh, document. So if folks want to take a, a moment with some discussion on definition.
and sort of the why question, why is uh, public art? I think we just got so many pages of ideas that it's very mm -hmm. hard to understand even where to start. I think maybe digesting this um, off camera and then coming back to talk about it might be um, good use of our time. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, we need a mission statement and then um, uh, a We have a mission. We have a right, mission right, statement. Right, right. right. But the, and uh, this, but I, so this is what we've already got. And then down here, I came up with a mm -hmm. vision and I wrote this, which, so I want okay. you guys to look at it and edit it because I just right. came up with it. Right. I look forward to your making it better. I wanted something on paper. So, okay, so oh, the yeah, we all have to talk about it. Right. Yeah. It's the mission yeah. statement, the one that. Uh, this is the one that's on the, on the website and everywhere else. And this last part was actually in a paragraph. I just. I just, I wanted it to, I wanted to put numbers on it. So it looks like, okay. so that you can see everything we're responsible for it. This was in a, in a, in a, in a paragraph instead. So I just changed the, the way it looks. All right, let's, I've got a, let's I've got a paragraph on cultural equity. And then I came up with a vision and right. it needs, it needs more right. in, input. Hey, but, Mikey, what did you want to say? I just want to say that that mission statement isn't a true mission statement. So like I, I work in historical societies, so they have a different type of mission statement, but um, the one that's on our website. This is on the website. Right, I know, but I think we really need to look at that and change that. Okay. Yeah. So we, we Let, each need take, to you know, really can... take time and, and look at these and- um, Okay. Yeah, because I looked right, at the let one. Me, in let me make Arlington. the suggestion. Um, Lori, Lori and Mikey didn't get to see at the August, you know, because it was at the August meeting that I had pulled together uh, a, an outline, outline plus, uh, based on uh, guideline, mission statement, guidelines, policies, document that Lori had found for us, Leesburg, Virginia. Right, so, I, I think I might have looked at it. Yeah, so I, I got to, yeah. Yeah, so that's what, so what we did at the August meeting, the August meeting. was we chunked that up. Terry volunteered to flesh out the first rubric in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Dara was interested and subsequently accepted to do another of the chunks. I signed up for a chunk, which I've, included here in this set of documents okay uh, but as as dara pointed out earlier we're we're maybe drowning ourselves in too many pieces of things and getting right. ahead of, right. of the discussion that we need to have but I think so that's I'd, like why... to hear, I'd like to hear some suggestions about how this can be made a little clearer and more workable right uh, for us going ahead Right. I think I think we should focus more in the beginning on the mission statement itself instead of going down the long road of get doing everything else. And then once we have the mission statement worked out, then go to the vision statement and then from there we can go on to all the other parts. But if we so, this mission might have been something that was approved by town council so that might it, that right. step might need to go in there. I'm not positive, but right, right. Well, okay. we should find that out. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, we reworked. I were reworked on two different committees: mission mm -hmm. statement, the vision statement for historical societies, and that's what we did. Is we looked at what we the board looked at, like ten or fifteen different mission statements for other his small historical societies so that we could figure it out and chunk it out so that it said it in the best way possible with the least amount of verbiage. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Lori, Lori, let me ask you your, your, your ideas on how we should proceed. Who? Um, Lori. Are you asking me? Yes. Okay. And I have just arrived home so I can meet you on zoom but i know we're getting towards the end so i can but i can get on zoom but i i mean i think that i 
I agree with Mikey. I think we need to really, you know, look at all these rather than rewriting um, that we read through these things so that we come with the, the knowledge of all of these different ones that we've looked at. But I, I agree that I think we need to really look at our mission statement and get that clarified if we're going to change it from what's already on the website. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to go and I don't mm -hmm. want to miss anything about any of this because it's really a great thing that the commission's doing. I, I love it. Mm -hmm. So um, I hope we can break it up into pieces so that we can do what you all are suggesting. Get with it, but I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. All right, Dara. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dara. Thank you much, my Dara. other people. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lori, we're, I, uh, I at least will hang on until you can get on the on the okay i can here. i'm just walking in and i can <laughs> get on in just a minute okay. mm -hmm. yeah can you go back up to the mission statement for a sec yep i can only see vision okay so it's even the beginning what is the mission of the amherst public arts commission is I don't know. It's just odd to start with that. Well, she's pointing out the seek. She's really pointing but, out a sequence here. Right, right, right. But I, I think what we need to do. That's the thing that's on the website. Yep. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, we can we can redevelop that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think what would be interesting, I think we all have um, some ideas about what's on the website and what we would, what we like about it and what we don't like about it. Right. So I think to really decide, you know, hone in on what are the pieces we want to keep? What do we want to change? Why, right. you know, why does it reflect right. or not reflect what we feel is important for the town of Amherst? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the big yeah. Well, I'm going to suggest that that each of us take a look at the six uh, items as Terry has pulled them out. She didn't make these up; she only no. put numbers on them to help uh, with clarity here. Right. But this this is this this is a 30 year old um, mission statement. Um, it, so I think, yes, we do have the opportunity here to come up with a new one, whether it's entirely new or whether it uh, modifies this one. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think that's that's all. That's what uh, that's the opportunity we have here. In right. any event, whatever, whatever we end up with is going to need to go to town council anyway. Mm hmm. So there's no reason that we have to uh, feel that we cannot change things. Okay. The, mm -hmm. So just, just because we're operating under this, I'll call it charter, this mission statement uh, doesn't mean that we can't, you know, get up on our hind legs and, and propose a, a different one, is my right. opinion. I'll also add, since I'm rambling here anyway, is that there are, there are things here that I don't see any evidence in 30 years that we even touched. So right. So, uh, um, developing for developers, I right. don't see. I don't see that we already done anything. So either we can decide to renew and refresh that idea, those ideas, or we can just put them aside and say they're not they're not what we think we should be doing. Um but my so my thought is that if we if if we individually and then collectively you know, cover the cover these six areas and either go thumbs up or thumbs down or ideas for 
modifications, additions, that maybe that's where we start. I don't know. Maybe that's too mechanical. I, I think in some respects that each one of us should write um, a mission statement for what we think the Public Arts Commission is about um, and look at it that way first. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because these six mm -hmm. areas, first of all, the developing it. Okay, the first one's fine. Proposing them an annual budget seeking funding sources for public We need arts. to start doing that. Yeah, but um, interacting with all town boards, they don't agree with us at all. Um, serving as a resource and educating developers, officials, and committees about possibilities for public arts. We're not even told about what's going on in the town for that. We're not included in it, which is one of the things we need to push for. You know, the um, the elementary school thing, if we didn't know that we were supposed to do it, they never would have come to us for the art. So um, I don't, I think in a lot of respects, they're not um, opening up what is for us to do within the Public Arts Commission. So we need to push for it within the town. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. do, do you guys agree with that? I'm hearing I'm hearing a suggestion, Mikey, that that um, the things that are in here that we feel we've not had the chance to do or have been forgotten about um, that we want to sort of double down on making the case for why why we should be included, right? right. As opposed to just saying, okay. That didn't work, so let's just strike it off the list. Well, yeah. I'm not saying strike it off the list. I'm just yeah. saying rewrite it, though. Rewrite yeah. it. Rewrite it. Number so five is involved. important. Yeah, it's it's a word salad. It needs to be right. It needs to nice. be said yeah. better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we need to be interacting with the town boards and know when things are going on, so we are included, and they're not including us. Well, I so think we, we need also to need to make the effort from our side because I know yeah. right. Yeah. I yeah. I would love to get on into those meetings just time by the way <laughs> by the way I had I was contacted by I've forgotten the fellow's name now but uh the the, the man at uh, public works who supervised the oh, uh the town Guilford no no uh he's he's the top man it was second level guy who who supervised the North Common project he got in touch and he, he said he said, "Do you have uh, do you have ideas for public art we could put in there?" So I met I met I walked the ground with him, and with the man in charge of uh, uh, trees and grass, and uh, they were both they were both you know very very interested and very you know but they they felt they felt out of the loop on public art too. So I think mm -hmm. I think it's a two-way street and I think we've got to okay. work it both ways. Right. Well, that's good. That's a good that's yeah. positive. I would yeah. love the opportunity to survey our residents and ask what they would like to see in that public area that's so yeah. new it took so much time to make. Which I'd area love to be able to north, make those visions. We're talking about the north uh near the library. No, no the, the one right in downtown. Right in front it's, of in front of town hall. Oh, oh, the new thing on front yeah. of town hall. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just I think I would love to get input from our citizens mm -hmm. and ask what they what they'd like to have in that park. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, I we don't I don't want to make up anything. I want to see what they want and then and then Yeah, we need to well see what we need to do is is not so much come up with uh with the with the ideas as you no, say. That's not but, our job. But was but, but some kind of process that yeah. people will come forward and participate in. Yeah, and or you 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 put partner. out a request for our, our what's it called? Sorry, I've lost the words again. The request for uh, estimate. It's not it. Proposal. A proposal. Yeah, thank you. Is RFP? Is that what it's called? Well, we have. Um, anyways, have to be a little careful because if you when you put out an RFP, you've got the authority and the funding to do something. 
Right. And we don't have either of those. So we've got. No, we would have to have the town of Amherst behind us to do that. And that's yeah, where that's they where, should be. And they're where, not. That's where we need to go. That's if we had a planner that we could um, work with, which I don't mm -hmm. think we still have, um, that's how we get things done is to have a planner. But I still think we are down one planner. Well, the town, the town um, director of planning is retired, retired. next week. Yep. Um, oh, she, no, last week. Yep. And she lives in our neighborhood. Um, yeah. Christine, Mikey knows her. Of course, well, Mikey knows Tom her. Tom does too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We all, yeah. we both well, live in the same town. I mean, the same. There was a, the town. the The town is in the middle of a year long planning process for town design standards, and uh, they had a couple of days of public input a week or two ago. Yeah, I went to the one that was at the high school. I couldn't mm -hmm. stay the whole time though. I, I had to go, but. So that's that's going to go on for a long time. But um, a number there were obvious there was obvious interest from the consultants there to include public art. Nothing specific, but I think we have an opening to talk with the town now about a planning process for public art that could be tucked inside that design process. The design mm -hmm. process is looking at things like streets and sidewalks and buildings. Um, but, you know, we've got Kendrick Park, we've got the North Commons, we've got that little scrap of... Uh, uh, right by uh, the cow. Uh, yeah, by the cow. Things like that, that, uh, you know, need some attention. And uh, if we can get, if we can organize a way for the the community to be drawn into an organized discussion, something that will go somewhere, actually... Uh, that would be, I think that would be helpful. Definitely. Okay. Well, my suggestion is, I'll go back to what to what Mikey was saying. This might be the simplest thing is that, as you know, and I would send this send this out via email to everyone, that, um, that we each try drafting a little uh, mission statement, send them back. We'll look at them together next time and uh, see where that, See if that can be a basis for a, for a discussion. The discussion we've not had uh, on, you know, straight on looking at mission, carving out that one piece of it. There. In the meantime, I'm not going to give up on the whole guidelines document. I'm going to work on um, some of the latter parts of it that we'll need to get to anyway. That deal with, uh, you know processes and procedures because we will have to pound those out and they won't change based they, they won't be connected to so connected to to mission they're just they're just you know building the sausage grinder great thank you tom that's good work that's uh, yeah. hard tom, work too that, appreciate the, it the amherst the amherst public art commission um the title of that particular document was that is that the one that was taken from the website um is based based on it yeah what i did was i copied it i copied the leesburg guidelines and then did some modifications to um uh, to it to try to blend with pieces that we had so uh i i sent everybody and i'll send it again uh, a copy of the doc of that document um I and you know please you know anybody can dive in at any point on that you want to send suggestions make edits or or such what i liked about that document lori was that i thought it did a good job in everything from talking principles down to you know clear and simple processes so that the the public and the town and the artists could all have um a baseline or a basic uh, uh or you know a framework whatever we want to call it uh when when talking about about public art so this is a hybrid this um document the amherst public arts commission this is a hybrid that you created yeah mm -hmm. I, I mean i see i i read this one and it sounds good to me 
I mean, there's things I would question, but because mm -hmm. of, you know, it's Amherst and can yeah. we, can we right, you right. know, in terms of the number of members and having a registered design professional, right. which I don't think we yeah. have, right. um, you know, right. but I feel like if we were to go through this, we, we would get somewhere. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, that would be my, I mean, what we're rather than rewriting, rewriting a mission statement, I feel like if we start here, has everyone read this? It's it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have read the Pittsburgh document that you sent us, should have mm -hmm. the hybrid that I started on. Mm -hmm. And I think we've, we've come to kind of a, um, a difference of, opinions on what would be the most productive way to proceed because we have on the one hand the idea that we should go back and work on making sure we all agree on on a mission statement and then the other view is well if if another if other places have hashed this through uh, have have worked it out um how much can we can we just borrow advisedly uh you know from them i'm i'm you know i'm i'm retired i got lots of time on my hands i'm gonna work both avenues here i mean i really think i mean i'm even though i said i think we need to have our mission statement start with that mm -hmm. at the same time i feel like you know getting it from other resources and then come making it our own is kind of a shortcut which i think mm -hmm builds mm -hmm. on a lot of other people's work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that... I agree to that too. Yeah. I agree with to that too. Yeah. yeah I, I do I do think a 30 year old mission statement totally needs to be overhauled. But I think I, I, I agree with taking what other towns have done and their efforts right. and seeing what fits for us. That's right. Just the right. easiest. Yeah. And you know, we don't have to re remake the wheel here. It's it's already out there. So I mean I I think mostly what's in this uh, you know what what Tom created here works. Well, uh, right. I'm going to I'm going to hope here. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that that we can have that that uh discussion on on mission next time and with any luck we can we can come to a consensus yep and our commission on it. Okay. And that then we can that then we can turn to the longer document return to the longer document and only write the things that are Amherst specific yeah. or where yeah, we right. see grounds for improvement, but not have to, not have to slog it all out from, you know, from, from the start. So we can, so if those two pathways can converge, okay. I think that would be a happy outcome. Yeah, okay. That's fine by me. That's good to me. Me too. Yep. Okay. Well, let's quit while we're ahead. <laughs> and Lori, thank you for the heroic effort <laughs> to participate tonight. I'm so sorry that the timing, I just, yeah. It's all good. It's, so, it's good to see you. We all, Your participation nice all is, is valuable to us, very high quality. So we're, we're very happy um, for the effort that you make. And we, we, we hope Thanks. we can work ourselves into your schedule a little better. Thanks. I, I've had a difficult schedule, but I, I anticipate it maybe getting a little easier in Great. the months ahead. Okay. Good. That's good. We we wish that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do we have a... Oh, I'll see. make a motion to, uh, to end this lovely meeting, 7, 11 p.m. Okay. I second. All right. Okay. All in favor. Aye. All in Aye. Favor. Awesome. All right. We're going. Thank you right, very thank much, you everybody. All. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.